figuring out what your sponsorship opportunities are worth, otherwise known as valuation, can be complicated and certainly a little intimidating. So today's video is all about valuation best practices, as well as one really simple technique that you can implement right away to tell you what your opportunities are worth. Stay tuned. Step one in determining your value is to ask what your sponsors, what your prospects would pay on the open market for the same outcomes that you're providing. Notice I didn't say research what sponsors are paying elsewhere for the same grouping of assets. In other words, you're not looking at other events or other programs at their gold, silver, or bronze sponsorship packages and just matching it. You have to ask yourself, how would your sponsors get their goal outcomes? Which could be product placement, it could be employee engagement, it could be sampling rights, it could be speaking to a particular audience or getting foot traffic into a retail environment. The question has to be asked, what are my sponsors, what are these brands trying to achieve, and what would they pay to achieve those ends through traditional marketing? By starting with that question, you can then look to the marketplace for exactly what brands are paying in real time and then compare that to what you should charge. For example, if you still insist on putting logos on everything as your primary approach to sponsorship, you should look to ads in magazines and newspapers that are targeted at the same audience that you have. So if you have a so-called general population audience, and I hope that you don't, then you're really comparing logo placement to tiny ads in newspapers that might target the so-called general population. Better yet, if you've got the 40-year-old high net worth mom who lives in the suburbs with two or more kids and prefers to drive luxury brands target market, target demographic, then you want to figure out what it is they're reading. What what it is they're consuming by way of media, and then look at advertising rates within that media. And then ask yourself the question, how does a tiny logo that says nothing about a company compare to a full page ad in one of those magazines or newspapers? Of course, the answer is it doesn't compare very well. It's not worth anywhere near as much as a full page ad. The same is true with samples, right? Look back to those same publications and ask what the cost is to insert a coupon or a sample inside those publications. If you're targeting the same market or audience as that publication, then it's reasonable to charge similarly to them in order to insert a sample. In other words, if you're giving away product on behalf of a company for free and calling it in-kind sponsorship, what you're really doing is practicing sampling. And you're giving away sampling rights, which actually can be quite lucrative. So you should be charging for them. How much should you charge? Well, that depends on your target audience and how well you can connect your sponsor to their target market, how many samples you can give out, and whether or not you can ensure that their target market actually accepts the samples and takes an action. When you're selling sponsorship, there's this thing called return on investment, ROI. Sponsors do not want to pay one-to-one -one market rate for your assets. In other words, they want a deal. They want to pay you less than market rate, which is all the more reason for you to determine exactly what your market value is. Typical return on investment rates or ROI rates are two to one, three to one, even as high as four to one. In other words, if something's worth a dollar, a sponsor wants to pay you 33 cents for three to one or 25 cents for a four to one ROI. So not only do you have to know your value by comparing your assets to those same groupings of assets on the fair market or open market, but you also have to be prepared to prove to your sponsors, to the brands you wanna work with, that you're offering a two to one, better yet a three to one return on investment. Be ready for sponsors to ask you what your ROI rate or ratio is. It's very important to know. So really to put it simply, the act of valuation is just posing the question, what would these brands, what would my sponsors pay in the marketplace to get the exact same outcome? 
as discussed in other videos, sponsorship is a verb. It allows you to reach across the entire marketing spectrum and pull from each discipline, whether it be advertising, sampling, experiential, social media, so on and so on. Therefore, in order to determine your value, you have to look across that exact same spectrum to determine what the going rate is for these assets if you're going to offer them. Speaking of social media, I promised you one simple technique that you could use right away to determine the value of some of your assets, and it's this. Log in to Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn and run a campaign, run an ad campaign. Just click on the menu and choose advertise, and then set up a campaign to target exactly your audience. 40 year old high net worth moms who live in the suburbs with two or more kids, household income of X, prefer certain brands. However you define your audience, the audience that you're offering to your sponsors is what you want to enter into this campaign. Then right before you go to launch the campaign, right before you have to pay money basically, these social media accounts will tell you what the average bid is for a click, for a CPM, right, or cost per thousand, th a thousand views, they'll tell you exactly what brands are paying to get in front of your audience. And just in that very simple approach, they're asking the question, what would my sponsors pay in order to connect with this exact same audience in the same way? So if you're not charging the same amount at least as what your brands could be getting if they just advertise directly, then you're leaving money on the table. Now, if you want to go deeper into how to value your sponsorship opportunities, you're in luck. I've written a three or 4,000 word blog post. I'll link to it in the comments. Have a look, give it a try. And as always, the sponsorship proposal doesn't make the sale. You do. Good luck out there.